it is late on a Saturday night and you ladies were on my mind. My hair's looking crazy, no makeup, and I can't believe I'm doing a video. Cause you know what? Back in the day, I used to be absolutely terrified to show up on video unless I had my makeup all done and my hair was great. There are times where I couldn't even look in a mirror for almost two years. I couldn't look at myself. I had my head down a lot. I lived in shame and it ate me alive. And you know what I'm really passionate about? Is talking about why you matter. Why your choices today matter for your tomorrow. Why you matter to everyone around you, even though they may not say that. And where you get to turn to for support in times of extreme chaos and overwhelm. Because the reason we're all connected is that we're human and we make tons of mistakes. We come from this vantage point of looking for perfection or procrastinating what we know we need to do. And at the end of the day, what determines our quality of life is our habits. It's our health habits. How do we get through each day? What do we do with our time? How do we use it? Who are we showing up as? And why are we choosing the actions or inactions that we are? I'm super passionate about the idea of habits, you guys, because this is what determines everything. I have shitty bedtime habits. I'll just say it. I have had shitty bedtime habits since I was a kid. I was always like trying to stay up late just to rebel against my parents or something. I was my Nighthawk Circadian rhythm. This is this story I tell myself in my head that I'm just naturally a Nighthawk. Yet I'll also wake up super early literally working 13, 14 hour days sometimes with my coaching business and my schooling and multiple things on my plate and homeschooling. But at the same time, that's my, that's, that's on me. I'm the idiot. I'm the one that keeps going to bed late. And when I say idiot, that isn't helpful, but that's how I feel about myself sometimes. Maybe you do too. Maybe you call yourself an idiot. Maybe you call yourself a loser. Maybe you just say, God, just screwing up all the time. And you laugh about it. And maybe you laugh about it, but maybe it's also this deep-rooted feeling of guilt or shame. And I will tell you, I've absolutely been there. And it ain't a fun place to be. So if you're in that space... Just know you're in the right space. Because this is a place where you can talk about that. My first coaching program that I launched this year was actually called Unshackle for Freedom. And it's around unshackling from shame that keeps us held back. It literally has us bound by the wrists. Shame is nasty. Shame is dangerous. And shame hides in all sorts of crevices of our life. If that's what you're facing, you deserve some support. I highly encourage you to PM me. Let me know where you're at with that and see what's possible for support for you. Because I guarantee you, if you continue down the path of living in shame, you're not gonna do very well. And going into 2021 is a brand new start. Not 2021. Coming out of 2021. You don't want to start planning for your new year in 
January of 2022. You got to start planning it now. And I am lining up my programs and my clientele for the coming year based on who really wants it. Who wants to make the change? Who wants to make the shifts for their life and knows that they're worth taking a chance on? Are you not worth taking a chance on? Material items that you throw on your credit card over Christmas are going to be temporary fixes. I have to tell myself this. What is the temporary fix on my credit card right now for Christmas? What is that actual gift going to do for my loved ones? Does it allow them to live their best life? Or is it just another thing that I'm buying for the sake of it? Because that's what we do at Christmas. Some of you have been offered opportunities at experiences. And some of that has to do with coaching, whether that's my program or anyone else that you see. Let me ask you why you're not jumping at the opportunity. Does it have to do with shame? Does it have to do with worthiness? I'm not worth that. Why would I invest in myself? I can't afford that. I get it. Been there. And I also know what it's like to highly invest in myself. Again and again and again. And when you expand that mindset, your entire world expands. And when you close it off and say no, you contract. And when you contract, you're stuck in a box. And when you're stuck in a box, you can't move. You're limited. There's no flow. So do you want to expand into 2022? Take a call. Take the leap. Jump into something that you've never done before. You never know what's going to come out on the other side unless you give it a shot. And let me tell you, you're 100% responsible for your results that you have right now. And nobody else is going to do the work for you. Now or in the future. No one's coming to save you. It's on you. So if you're ready to live your best life, why not start now? Waiting for tomorrow or the next month or the month after that isn't going to do much except decrease your confidence and willingness to see who you really are. I encourage you to PM me with what you're hearing in this message. Tell me if it pisses you off. Tell me if it lights you up. Tell me if it's something that you think someone else should hear. Tell me if it's what you need to book your first coaching call with me. Because I'm telling you, there are signs around you all over the place. And whether that's to do with this video or other ones that you've seen or other things that you have read or even been thinking about, start taking notice of those themes and what's happening in your mindset. Because at the end of the day, the number one driver of anything and everything in your life is the six inches between here and here. That's all I got for you tonight. I'll talk to you again soon. God bless, and I look forward to talking to you. PM me. Much love. Mm -hmm.